Color is a big topic and there are multiple ways of working with color in Illustrator. The first step toward working with color in any graphics program is to consider the end product that you're designing for, whether it's for your inkjet printer, your blog, or for a large commercial printing press. Illustrator is designed to handle all of these end products. For this class, as we continue, I'm gearing our use of color toward the RGB mode so that your files will be most compatible with working between Photoshop and Illustrator, and they'll be ready for the most common end products in digital scrapbooking and crafting, inkjet printing and on-demand printing like you would get from a vendor like Shutterfly, and then also for display on the web. So to start, let's take a look at CMYK and RGB. CMYK is the color space used in traditional commercial printing. It's also referred to as process color or four color process. And that's because it's a printing process that uses just four ink colors, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. One for each printing plate in combination to create most of the color you see in print. Look at any magazine and you have an example of four color process printing. And if you're really curious, get a good magnifying glass and you can see the CMYK halftone dots that make up the image on the page of a magazine. There are limitations to this process, though. It doesn't always do a very good job with really bright, saturated colors. Some colors fare better than others. But there are things you just can't achieve by using four colors of ink on paper. RGB, on the other hand, is comparatively limitless. It's the color mode, of course, of electronic devices, monitors, and televisions. The acronym refers to red, green, and blue, and in this case we're speaking of colored light rather than colored ink. So it's quite possible for you to create colors on screen in the large, large world of RGB that won't reproduce well in print, the smaller world of CMYK. Inkjet printers are designed to take RGB information and convert it to ink on paper, and they do a pretty amazing job at it, but the fundamental differences between the properties of colored light versus ink on paper explains why what you print doesn't always match what you see on screen. You can bridge the gap by running your own tests of color on your inkjet printer and customizing your palettes accordingly to get the results you want. You can also use Illustrator's Proof Colors feature to simulate some of the different color spaces on screen. And here are a few examples of how Illustrator displays its CMYK simulation next to a Windows Monitor RGB and a Macintosh Monitor RGB. So you can definitely see some differences, and proofing on screen can help you anticipate potential problems as you work. You can find this feature in the View menu under Proof Setup and Proof Colors. And really, who knows how this looks to you watching this video of a picture of my monitor on your monitor. I mean, we can only be so accurate. This is why it's best to mix color palettes and test them on your printer, so you can find colors that print well, work together, and are inspiring to design with. Just the practice of doing this is going to give you more color intuition over time, so you can gain some expertise in the leap from screen to paper.